Welcome to Ask Jesse Neeland. Uh, I'm Jesse, and I will be answering a question that I got actually via text from a friend recently, um, asking me, <laughs> how can I love my love handles? And I love this question because it's, uh, you know, it's something that's asked in a million different ways, and everybody has their one body part that they're just like, that sucks. So they always ask me about that body part, you know, like, how do I love my thighs? How do I love my back fat? How do I love, well, whatever. Um, so for her, it was love handles and, uh, and my advice, which is very apt for Thanksgiving here, um, is to write a letter of apology by personifying that body part as if it were a person who you had treated the way that you've treated that body part. So, um, you know, that might start by saying, dear love handles, I'm sorry that I've treated you so badly, that I've rejected you so much, that I've, you know, I've never really embraced you as a part of this whole unit that is my home, my body, um, or whatever, like whatever feels truthful for you. Um, one client did this exercise and <laughs> she showed me her letter and the first thing was, I'm sorry that you suck so bad. Uh, and it got better, but I mean, do write whatever's truthful. Like really try to imagine as you're writing it, personify that body part. Um, imagine that it has feelings. And how would a person feel if they had been treated by you the way that this body part has been treated by you? And really think about that and, and try to put that into your letter. So this is definitely an imagination-driven letter, right? If you are not into creative or alternate methods of healing, don't do this. It's going to be stupid. Um, but it's really, really amazing and powerful for anybody who can include their imagination in their healing process because, frankly, you've been including your imagination in your hating process. Like, you really can't hate one body part as much as you do unless your imagination has been given, you know, the ability to run wild and, and like, imagine chopping it off or, you know, imagine, like, what you'd look like without it or imagine that everybody's staring at it or whatever. Like, your imagination has been involved. So I say get your imagination involved in the healing process. So... Choose whichever body part you've been rejecting and you've been treating badly and you've been like the one body part you have that rocky relationship with and write it an apology letter, personifying it as much as possible. Then, this is the fun part, write an acceptance letter back to yourself from that body part. Okay, so imagine, dive into the personified character that you've just given um, of this body part, your love handles, for example, and, and write an acceptance letter back. Imagine that your love handles just opened up its mail and it read the letter you wrote it. Now it's writing you a letter in response. And be honest, like, what would it say if it got that letter? What would a person feel if it got a letter like that out of the blue, you know, that you were like, hey, God, I am sorry for the way I've treated you. I mean, just imagine what that would feel like and then write an acceptance letter of your apology back, if possible. I've had clients who could not accept it and said their body part rejected that apology and that's where you're at. Whatever feels truthful, just sit down and write. The process of giving your, per your imagination permission to participate is huge. And then from there, just do what feels right. Like just give it Give it stream of consciousness and go. So write the apology and then write the acceptance letter and really feel what it would feel like to be this body part who's just received this letter of apology. And write it back and see what happens. Um, the reason that I love this exercise so much is that it really puts you in a different frame of mind than we're usually used to. Um, and it brings a lot of awareness to how you've been treating it. Um, and, and ultimately the idea is that you just want to become friends with it, right? Like, you can't move to loving something that you've been treating horribly without apologizing. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so this is one of the steps to move you towards healing that relationship. So if you want to love a body part that you currently hate, apologize to it and then accept your apology in the voice of that body part and see what happens. And if you do this exercise, write me in the comments. I want to hear about it. I love this exercise. Um, I did it personally for my breasts. I apologize to them. And it was, uh, it was very powerful and very, um, emotional, uh, and painful. 
and it, it changed a lot. So I, I love it and I want to hear about your experience, which body part you apologize to and what it said back and how the whole thing went. Um, and that is my best advice for how to love your love handles or whatever body part you happen to most despise. Um, so that's it.